just stumbled across one of the greatest things to ever happen on the internet, and that's PlutoPepe.com. It's basically the first of its kind, a meme coin with a choose-your-own-adventure storyline-driven governance where the token holders get to decide how Pepe gets back to Pluto to find his love. And they actually just, just launched today, and um, they're listed on PancakeSwap, and they've been to over, you can see in the PooCoin chart, um, it's basically trading view for a lot of these uh, Binance shitcoins, um, that it went to 13 million market cap, and it's at all-time highs, about over 2x since the pre-sale um, in less than half a day with a whole video that just came out on it. And so besides that's the point, I was on the Telegram just snooping around. I realized a lot of people um, who bought the coin aren't seeing it on their MetaMask wallet. And this is very easy to set up. And this is very easy to set up for any custom BEP20 or ERC20 token on MetaMask. So this is generally the same product. Uh, generally the same process for any Web3 wallet, but first you need to switch to Binance Smart Chain, which is its own network, custom RPC. Um, I've made a video in the past about doing this. You got to switch that over, chain ID, everything is pre-populated. I got this from a, an article that you can find online in previous videos. I'll link that in the description. Now you have the Binance Smart Chain. You can X out. You can see now the symbol changed to BNB, and right there you have it at a token. You, uh, if it's a popular token, it'll be on here. The Pluto is not here. You have to add the custom token with its token contract address. So the token contract address is this right here. Um, it's also in PancakeSwap, this right here, um, which are the kind of auto-populated links that are in the PlutoPepe.com, but you can directly see the contract address um, in the URL of Binance scan or BSC scan, which is Binance Smart Chain's live block explorer, where you can literally see live time um, the uh, the progress or the transactions regarding this token. And you can just copy the address here, add that over here, everything pre-populated, you click next. And so if you bought this on PancakeSwap, um, click add token, you won't see it up until you populate this right here. So I currently don't have any, but if I did buy any, I could see it. And so yeah, that's how you set it up.